I want to solve this inequality. So first when I look at this one, this is a quadratic quantity. So I can see that the product of this one and this one is 18. I'm just looking at the coefficients. I'm trying to uh, split the middle term here. So 18, 18 can be written as nine terms times two, or it can be written as three times two, nine can be written as, sorry, three times three times two. Now this one can be further written as three times two, which is six times three. So this is something, uh, six times three, three is 18 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so I can split this term by 9x by uh, I can write 9x in terms of 6x plus 3x so that will be will be splitting the middle term which is 9x and it solves my purpose so basically 18 times x square is 18x square and 6x times 3x is 18x square so it should work now so I will try to factorize now here it stays as greater than 0 so x plus 6 here and uh, sorry this is plus 3 x plus 6 here so greater than 0 so uh, this one would be like that so basically plus 3 so now I can write it like this greater than 0 so I need to find the inequality so what I will do I will write uh, this one x uh, this one as y is equal to x square plus 9x plus 18 so like that and now I will try to plot this one so I have the roots which is x is equal to minus 6 and minus 3 that means this graph crosses the x-axis at point minus 6 0 and point minus 3 0 and the uh, highest power of largest power of x here is 2 that means it's a quadratic equation and that means it's actually a parabola so if I draw it I make few observations first of all the power of x the highest power of x is 2 second is the coefficient of x square is a positive so the parabola will go upwards like this so first one gives me its parabola because the power of highest power of x is 2 Second one is it's the coefficient of x square is a positive one, so it will go upwards. And I have the roots, that means the points where it crosses the x-axis. So that's one is minus 3, 0, which let's say here arbitrarily, and the other one is minus 6, 0. So I have enough information to be able to draw it. It should go like that, that means it should be like that. This is my graph, uh, whatever, like that. So this one is basically y. Now my problem was x square plus uh, 9x plus 18. This one greater than 0. Which means I assume that this is y. So I have plotted y which is this one. Which is basically this. So this means that y is greater than 0. So the region will be this is minus 6 0 and this is minus 3 0 so where in this graph y is greater than 0 if I look at this one up to here up to here in this part definitely y is less than 0 because it is going negative this is going definitely here it is this part so from minus 6 to minus 3 y is negative we have to get where it is y is positive that means this part this whole part and this part so from this from this graph we can write that x is greater than minus 3 or x is less than minus 6 that means either it's even more negative than minus 6 or it is uh, greater than minus 3 that is less negative or positive whatever so this whole region only this part is excluded where y is negative so this is our result this is the result we were looking for and we have found it using uh, the graphy is in graphical analysis so I can I will be we can do it in another way I will probably do it later